Sweet. Okay. So the next question was from when building YouTube silos, how many videos should be in the silo to be impactful to move the needle? I know it depends on competition, but what should you start with? Five, seven, 50? And should we focus on building more in the silo or more silos? And if more silos, how many in the silo? <laughs> well, I got a little bit of a headache from that question. Um, <laughs> Uh, it just depends on, it depends on, you know, how competitive it, the keyword is that you're trying to rank for. So whatever your top level keyword is, the top of silo keyword that you're trying to rank for, that's really going to be what determines how much um, depth you should add to it. Like how many videos, essentially, how many other keywords, variations, longer tailed versions, that sort of thing, are you going to actually target within that particular silo? It's just like doing it on your website, right? It's, it's the same, same principle it's how much is it going to take i can't tell you that because i don't know what keyword is that you're targeting i don't know what the competition looks like it's going to take as many as it takes so really just it, it's going to it's very much like doing a silo on your website that's why we talk about theme mirroring and, and all that kind of stuff because it's it's all the same um creating a youtube silo is the exact same structure and it's the mat whether or not it ranks is going to depend on you know a lot of factors not just the silo structure itself but having additional keywords in there, more depth to that silo adds, builds more relevancy, more topical relevancy, and there's more linking opportunities from within that silo as well. So it kind of helps to power up the entire silo, the whole playlist, if you're adding more videos that are relevant. Does that make sense? Um, anybody want to comment on that before I go to the second part of that? Yeah, what you start with is more than one, right? Absolutely. <laughs> and then it's just how far you need to go to get to where you want to be, period. Yeah. So how many is it going to take? As many as it takes. I was like, uh, a lot. we used to get questions all the time about syndication networks. How many posts do you think it's going to take for me to rank for whatever keyword? Yep. <laughs> we could always have the same answer. As many as it takes. As many as it takes. Yeah. So uh, the next one is, should we focus on building more in the silo or more silos? And if more silos, no. Remember, guys, keep it simple. You know, you can take a a top level silo keyword and you can create a bunch of subcategories from closely, very closely related keywords that are, you know, longer tailed versions or the next level down, so to speak of that main keyword. But is it necessary to do so? That's the point. Like, again, I use this example more recently. Uh, you know, I, I'm pretty much all I'm doing now is tree service stuff for, for SEO and, and, and lead generation and that kind of stuff. And, for the longest time, I've always built simple silo structure, at least for several years. I used to do complex silos, but I, I just got over doing that because most local most local type businesses don't need that. But I, And I don't know that you're targeting local, but I'm just using this as an example. Um, I used to always silo with simple silo for the last few years with simple silo structure for tree service stuff, tree service being the primary keyword, so essentially the homepage. But then the silo structure would be tree trimming would be one silo, another one would be tree removal. And then usually a third one, which would be additional services or arborist tree services, if it was if it was a certified arborist on the uh, uh, for the for the contractor that, that the site was for, and I so I would have three silos on the site basically. But what I found was Google actually really considers tree trimming, tree removal, tree cutting, tree service. They're all synonyms. So I could probably, and I haven't tested it just yet. I've got a couple of projects that I'm I'm waiting on some infrastructure to be built, and then I'm going to be testing that. But I could probably go with just one silo, essentially tree services, and you because all that content is the same. However, I could create like essentially subcategories, which would have been the silos of what I've already been what I've been doing, right? So tree removal, tree trimming, perhaps arborist services. But if why overcomplicate things? Why make the build more complex? Why make the content, uh, you know, the interlinking between uh, pieces of content and everything more complex than it needs to be? If I could just have a flat site with one silo tree services and just have all the content, you know, uh, properly structured and get the same results, why would I go through all of that? And so that my, my answer to you about the YouTube stuff is the same thing. I would rather focus on one silo and add more depth to it and have that whole silo be a lot more powerful than have a whole bunch of different silos with a bunch that are very, very specific where it's kind of hard to get um you know additional supporting it now if you've got a, a main category with a bunch of different subcategories and it's logical to do so then i would add additional you know i'd create additional playlists and don't forget that you can have one video and more than one playlist so i mean if you have a kind of like a parent category silo the video can be in that playlist but then you could also have like subcategory silos or playlists 
that that one, you know, the video can also be in one of those, if that makes sense. So, but just don't overcomplicate things is my point, especially when it comes to YouTube, it's really unnecessary. Anybody want to comment on that? I totally agree. Okay. Very good. And I think a lot of, a lot of times we try, we try to be smart as SEOs and try to, you know, well, if I get really creative with my silo structures, I can get better results. And, and it just ends up being a lot of unnecessary work. So just keep that in mind.